has this progressed and how have you keep adding things to this amazing entertainment you know, company? I um I was in the music industry for a very long time. I managed, right? Mm -hmm. And did that primarily. And that was years of me devoting myself to helping everyone else realize their talents. Yes. And I realized that there were so many towns that I had mm -hmm. yet to explore mm -hmm. within myself. Mm -hmm. So in 2008, I branched off and did Mona Me Entertainment. And that was just an exploration of anything and everything mm -hmm. that I am capable of. Yes. Right? It was just every day. What, how can I test the boundaries? Mm -hmm. How can I test my limitations? So literally, I get up, I have no idea what mm -hmm. one day to the next is going to be. Mm -hmm. And I just push myself That's every amazing. day. Yeah. So, you know, I launched the Moscato brand with Nicki Minaj. Right. I'd never yes, done that yes, before. Yes. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Mm -hmm. But there I was at 6 a.m. pitching to sales teams, mm -hmm. learning about wine. Because mm -hmm. that's the thing about me. I like to know things from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. right? You know, so I did that. And then now the book, this is something I've never done. And, you know, go moving into television, moving from music to television. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's really just about, you know, having a great time, living my best life, like That's Oprah says. Yes. You know? Yeah, right? Right? But yeah. before, before you jump in, are you going to do a book about yourself? Like, like oh. just your journey? Because people need to yes. know, right. there are a lot of people who want to do a lot of mm -hmm. things, but they will mm -hmm. never do it. Right. But what if you gave an opportunity, you told people how you got it done? Yeah. Well, you know what? And that's the key, right? Because I don't feel like I have the ultimate blueprint. Mm -hmm. I'm constantly a work in progress myself. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like maybe if I share my experience, Experiences. Right. Mm -hmm. There are little nuggets that you could pull from mm -hmm. it. Absolutely. And it's been coming together in my head. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's a very weird title, but there's a... a, a reasoning behind okay. it. Right. <laughs> um, I, I'm calling it life is like a traffic jam. Right? Yeah. All right. and, and it makes it the reason it makes sense for me mm -hmm. is because when you're on the outside of a traffic mm -hmm. jam, right? Mm -hmm. Think about it. You're looking at the congested traffic. Mm -hmm. You're like, I'm never going to get to where I'm trying to go. Right. Right? Right. right. But when you're in the thick of a traffic uh -huh. jam, what do we do? You figure mm -hmm. out a way. Yeah. Yeah. We do, we yes. dip, we dive, we do right. whatever we need yeah. to do to Always get to the other side. Until we push. Right. 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 And I have all of these driving analogies, right? Mm -hmm. Being in the driver's seat of your life. Yeah. Some people mm -hmm. want to sit in the passenger yes, seat right. and then wonder how they got to where they're going, right? right? Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or why they're not getting mm -hmm. to where they're right. trying mm -hmm. to go. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to take a detour, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not always a straight mm -hmm. path, mm -hmm. right? So I've got a ton of these, but it's it's coming together in okay. my head. Okay. And then eventually <laughs> I'll put it on paper. All right, yes. 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 Yes.